talking about, Luke? Find out on today's Nerdist News. That Luke. The light side versus the dark side. Which one are you on? Now, for decades, this has been the underlying conflict at the heart of Star Wars, but now that the trailer for The Last Jedi has dropped, fans have been asking themselves, could there be another way? Does it have to be so black and white? or red and blue if we're talking in lightsaber terms. It's all because there's one former fanatic that seems to be changing his tune after a lifetime singing the praises of the light side, and his name is Luke Skywalker. That's right. Just like a former Catholic school kid coming home after one semester at college, Luke is turning his back on the religion that raised him. He's done with the Jedi Order, and he thinks that the rest of the galaxy should follow his lead. It's time for the Jedi to end. Okay, Luke, it's time for the Jedi to end. That's easy for you to say, tucked away in your little treehouse on the far side of the universe, but in case you hadn't heard, there's another war happening. Planets are getting exploded, old friends are getting murdered by their angsty emo sons. If we're gonna get rid of the Jedi, then we need a friggin' replacement. So what could that replacement possibly be? Well, a lot of fans have speculated that the answer to that question may actually be hidden in the title. Perhaps they say The Last Jedi isn't singular. Maybe it's referring to Jedi plural. And even if old man Luke is switching off his saber for good, maybe Rey will be there to flip it back on and take over for him. But in a recent interview with Good Morning America, Episode 8 director Ryan Johnson basically told us all to stop overthinking it. The Last Jedi, singular yeah. or plural? I had never even pondered that question. That seems like to me the most like uh, basic question or uninteresting, I guess. Or oh, it's interesting. It was right. it's <laughs> interesting. So singular like, or no. plural? <laughs> and look, in my mind, it's it's singular. Uninteresting question. Come on, man. You're in charge of Star Wars now. You gotta know that there's no question so small that the internet won't go full ham trying to dissect it from every possible angle. But anyway, while later on in the interview Johnson does play coy about exactly who the last Jedi may be, refusing to completely confirm that it is in fact Luke, it's hard to imagine that it could possibly be anybody else. After all, it's gonna be a pretty big downer of an ending if Rey does finally complete her Jedi training, only for us to discover that she's the last one ever. What was the point of learning all that lightsaber twirling if she's not gonna pass those lessons on? And also, why would Luke even teach her the ways of the Force if he's totally given up on it? If he thinks that the Jedi should end, then it makes no sense for him to start training another Jedi. So then it stands to reason that Luke isn't actually training her to be a Jedi, he's training her to be something else. Something that's not just all about the light side or the dark side, but something bigger. So much bigger. Exactly, Luke. And the idea that you don't have to be a Jedi to be in tune with the Force is one that's been popping up a lot in Star Wars recently. I'm one with the Force, the Force is with me. I am no Jedi, but I know the Force. See, Maz and Chirut are two perfect examples of characters that don't need all those stoic monk-like Jedi teachings to find guidance from the Force, and it gets even more interesting when you take a dive into the extended universe. In Rebels, there's a character called the Bendu, a creature who represents the perfect balance between the dark side and the light side of the Force, and Grey Jedi were an extremely popular concept from the old pre-Disney Star Wars canon. These were Jedi who exiled themselves from the Council in order to walk a more balanced line between the two sides of the Force. So yeah, the point point is you clearly don't need to adhere to the absolutes of the Jedi or the Sith to be one with the Force, and arguably those absolutes, the ones on both sides, are responsible for most of the bad stuff that's happened in Star Wars. Like maybe Anakin would have been slightly better adjusted if the Jedi weren't all, forget your mom, don't fall in love, and keep your babies a secret from everybody. <laughs> maybe Darth Vader would never have happened if he wasn't constantly repressing all of his normal human emotions just because Samuel L. Jackson and a little green puppet were telling him to. So maybe now Luke has taken taken some time to review his family history and is realizing all of this, not because the galaxy doesn't need the Jedi, they just need a better class of Jedi, and that's why the Jedi as we know them has to end. But what do you guys think? Should the Jedi really come to an end, or is Luke making a huge mistake? Let's discuss. And be sure to tune in to Mothership this Thursday at 5.30 p.m. PST for a special Toy Apocalypse edition of the show. We're giving away over a hundred collectibles, which is pretty much 1.6 a minute. You can check out all the details over at Join Team Alpha on Twitter.